Hi everyone, Raph here from BNC Camera. What is the buzz with this episode you may be wondering? Hummingbirds. Well, if you want to photograph hummingbirds, you'll need to have patience. Not only are they gorgeous, but they are also fast and can flap their tiny little wings up to 200 times per second. Considering their speed, they are tricky little creatures to photograph. Alrighty, let's go over some pointers to help you capture these agile avians. The first one's going to be pretty obvious, but try to understand hummingbirds. Researching the subject for your wildlife photography is very important. You'll want to fully understand your subject's habits since you can't communicate with them. You'll want to make sure you're at the right place at the right time. Here's a research checklist to help you with this type of wildlife photography. Where is their habitat located? Are they more active during the day or night? What season in the year are they most active? What noises do they make? Can you spot this noise from a distance? What does their diet consist of? For hummingbirds specifically, where do they eat their nectar? Since hummingbirds are so tiny, it can be hard to spot them in the wild if you don't have them coming to your backyard. Try to recognize the sounds they make so your ears can help your eyes locate them. Hummingbirds have a unique chirping song and you can usually hear the buzz from their fast flapping wings. Next up, you're going to want to build up your patience. Always be patient. You are now playing a waiting game. Once you've understood the hummingbird's habits, the only thing you can do is wait. Find the perfect spot near a flower they can sip nectar from and set up your tripod. Always remember to move slowly and don't make any sudden moves. Most wildlife are scared of you more than you are of them. You don't want to scare them off and ruin a good shot. Usually hummingbirds will come back from a spot after a hummingbird has been scared, but you should still try to move gracefully. Next up, you want to make sure your camera is set for continuous focusing. Most cameras tend to have an autofocus feature. Make sure you keep this enabled while shooting hummingbirds. Since they move so quickly, you won't have time to keep adjusting your focus. You should use center AF point only, so your focus on the bird doesn't drift to something in the background. Again, circling back to the fact that these little creatures are speedy, you should use a fast shutter speed. Make sure you're using a high ISO between 400 and 800. While keeping the bird in focus, use a wider aperture. You should also invest in a powerful external flash for good action shots and to freeze their wings. Once you're out there in the thick of things, make sure to take plenty of photographs. It's always better to take large numbers of photographs so you have a better chance of picking out the best photo. The same applies to action shots, and in this case, hummingbirds. When your subject is as speedy as a hummingbird, the likelihood of getting a blurry photo is high. You can take 500 photographs and only get 5 good shots, so make sure you're taking as many photos as you can. Lastly, if you're considering shooting RAW over JPEG, just remember that shooting RAW can limit how many photos you can take in a burst. Shooting in JPEG format will allow you to take more pictures in a burst. Those file sizes can really add up. Also, think of incorporating a ball head with your tripod. Ball heads allow more support for the camera while being able to follow the hummingbirds around. Keep the ball head on your tripod slightly loose from maneuverability. This will help a lot since you aren't sure where the hummingbirds are going to go. You will be able to move around with ease. If your lens has an image stabilizing feature, you should turn this on. Usually it's recommended to keep this off when using a tripod, but since you have your ball head loose and not locked, image stabilization will help keep your camera stable. With all that being said, remember, shooting hummingbirds isn't an easy task. In general, wildlife photography is unpredictable. Although unpredictable, it can be one of the most rewarding and fun photography experiences. Not knowing what your subject will do or what your photograph will capture gives off a thrill you can't get anywhere else. So get out there and start shooting. Let us know how it goes in the comments section down below. If you found the video helpful, a like and subscribe would really help us out. Keep it locked as we'll be posting more content here in the near future. Once again, this is Raf from BNC Camera. Catch you in the next video.